Nigel and Jane County Council members are set to meet here at 6 o'clock to talk about the situation developing with Sheriff Will Lewis. And this afternoon, Lieutenant Governor Kevin Bryant became the first high-ranking state official uh, to call for Lewis's re resignation. And he made that statement on the same day that we heard from Lewis's attorney for the first time. He needs to turn in his badge immediately. Lieutenant Governor Kevin Bryant calling for the sheriff's resignation. The same day, the attorney for the sheriff's office spoke for the first time. There's an ancient proverb that says, he who tells the story first seems right. General Counsel Lance Sheik told reporters they haven't been served a copy of the lawsuit by the sheriff's accuser, Savannah Neighbors. And they first learned about the allegations of sexual assault by the sheriff from a blog post she put on the internet. And the day that blog post was posted within the hour at the direction of Sheriff Lewis, I contacted the state law enforcement division, commonly called SLED, and the sheriff's office requested an investigation into those allegations because that was the entirety of what we knew at that point. When asked if the lawsuit is a distraction for the sheriff performing his duties. The men and women that I have seen have simply not allowed it to do that and they have gone forward with their job. Lieutenant Governor Kevin Bryant disagrees. Law enforcement has a sacred duty to protect our wives and daughters from predators. And we have a predator. But Lewis, who admits he had a consensual encounter with neighbors but denies assaulting her, told reporters last week he plans to stay in office. Which brings us back to this Greenville County Council meeting. Again, council set to meet here at County Square in one hour to talk about the lawsuit against Sheriff Lewis and the impact they believe it is having on the citizens of Greenville County. We, of course, will have all the latest information on this on WYFF News 4 at 11. Tim Waller, WYFF News 4, live in Greenville.